da 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 Hi. I'd just like to say a few words about why I refuse to go and, well, go and pay money to watch um, what I'll not so respectfully refer to f going forward as Ghostbusters for morons. That um, mock title alone should tell you exactly what I think of it and why I refuse to pay money for it. The real Ghostbusters um, is the first film I ever saw in a theatre. I was all of six years old back then. Um, and I'll be upfront about this, you know, a lot of the jokes in the real Ghostbusters went right over my head then. You know, you got to expect that. But um, what I took from the real Ghostbusters is that, you know, it's, it's okay to have a brain and, and make use of it. Moo. 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 Let's deal with a little thing I call, um, you know, trailer projection. Now, I sometimes watch a trailer and I think, you know, this, this film is going to be an absolute piece of shit. I hate it. I don't want to see it. Blah, blah, blah. Usually, whether I have the opposite reaction, wow, this film looks incredible. I want to see it or, you know, um, it has to do with the contents of the trailer itself. I am very, very, very rarely mistaken when seeing a trailer predicting the overall quality within certain tolerances, of course. I, I rarely get it wrong when predicting the quality of the feature film from the trailer. In order to show you what I mean, I'm going to provide you with a couple of positive examples first. So you can see exactly what I mean when I say, you know, Ghostbusters for morons was dead to me the second I saw a trailer for it. Now, first off the mark, I'll show you a couple of very small clips from the Comic-Con trailer for Mad Max Fury Road. Here goes. In just five seconds, this Comic Con trailer has absolutely sold me. I must, must go and see Mad Max Fury Road. The world is running out of water. The reason that voiceover speaks to me is because, as much as um, the kind of people who will go and see Ghostbusters for morons. Thank you, morons, by the way. Those kinds of people don't want to acknowledge that the words, the world is running out of water, reflects reality. So, without further ado, I'll just play you the second piece of um, the Mad Max Fury Road trailer that... Um, I call it, call the sold moment. You want to get through this? Let's go! From that point in the trailer onwards, you couldn't talk, you could not keep me away from Mad Max Fury Road with a barge pole. Anyway, Next up, I'll just show you a little tiny clip out of the Straight Outta Compton trailer, and it's fairly obvious why, you know, even someone like me who, um, you know, I could, I could count the number of rap artists I um, would give the time of day to on these fingers here. And yet, there I was on opening day at, at um, the cinema, with a couple of hundred other people watching this film just because I saw this particular moment in the in the 
Red Band um, trailer. Here it goes. The performance of the song F the Police will not be permitted. They try to tell us what the fuck we can't play. This is WA. Yo, Dre. What up? I got something to say. So that's two positive examples of a trailer that makes me say, yes, I'm going to see this film come hail or high weather. Now, let me show you a tiny, tiny clip out of the Ghostbusters for Morons trailer, well, one of them, and, you'll, and I'll talk about why... I'll just talk about... Yeah, yeah okay. Oh, hell no, the devil is a liar! Get out of my friend, ghost! Ow, that's gonna leave a mark! The power of panic compels you! Okay, before I say anything else, Leslie James, I don't know you from, from Eve. You could be the most wonderful human being on Earth for all I know, but please... Your, your try-hard Brian Blessed act in, in that shot, it, it really makes you out to look bad. You know, I, I myself, I, if, if, if I were in your shoes, I would have refused to have acted that, that scene that way regardless. That's, that's for starters. So I understand your trying to appeal to a very large audience of scientifically illiterate, racist um, idiots who call themselves American. I, I, you know, I, I get that Sony, I get that Paul Feig, whatever the hell your name is, but really, um, you know, the, the reason why people are still fond of the real Ghostbusters, you know, um, 30 years after, 32 years, in fact, after it was released in theatres is because, you know, it, it aimed a bit higher. Uh, now, one, one critic that I, um, that I um, watch and, you know, respect the work of has already underhandedly suggested pirating the, this film. I'm just going to say, you know, if you pay to see um, this film, if you pay to see Ghostbusters for morons willingly and you know, of your own volition, then fuck you, basically. Da 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 da